widespread criticism of its loan rates. A special pen is offering new hope in the fight against Parkinson's disease. Researchers in Newcastle say it could help doctors diagnose patients far earlier than is currently possible. Fraser Maud explains. OK, starting with the cross. It may look like a simple touchscreen drawing application, but the technology being developed here on Tyneside is far more important. By measuring tiny hand tremors, this high-tech pen could one day play a key role in diagnosing and treating Parkinson's disease. Actually, with relatively simple methods, uh, you can learn a lot uh, about how the nervous system controls motion uh, in terms of sensors that you use. Uh, but the difficulty is really in developing algorithms uh, that help you understand the sensor data and that translate this um, to information that a clinician will be able to use. Ali Finlayson has been helping with the research. He says it came as a relief when his Parkinson's diagnosis eight years ago helped put a name to his worrying symptoms. I would like to think that my symptoms can be improved with this. My, my, my relationship with Parkinson's disease is a condition which makes me very vulnerable. And any at all which helps me uh, be diagnosed earlier would be, for my uh, mind, very useful indeed. Currently, the only definitive diagnosis for Parkinson's is with a process known as a DAT scan. The pen could provide a cheaper alternative and could also help determine which medication to prescribe. If we're trying out new treatments, such as new drug treatments, it could be a very useful objective assessment of how well patients have done on a drug. Because at the moment, all the drugs uh, are assessed by questionnaires that patients complete and they're actually quite subjective in a lot of ways. But the pen still needs more research and more funding. The government's technology strategy board clearly see the potential of this system. They've just given a grant to the researchers of almost £180,000, but it's hoped that its benefits will be far more wide-reaching than just here in North Tyneside. It's estimated that in the developing world, up to 50% of people with Parkinson's disease go undiagnosed. The developers hope that clinical trials could begin next year. If successful, the pen could be helping thousands more people like Ali from 2015. Fraser Maud, Sky News, North Tyneside.